If you use a menstrual cup, then you already know that the number one secret to a leak-free period is making sure that your cup pops open properly. In today's video, I'm going to cover all the ways to make sure your cup is opening properly so that you don't have to worry about any leaking throughout your cycle. Getting your menstrual cup to open up properly will allow it to form a tight seal so that you won't have any leaking. It can take a couple of tries to kind of get this down and in the beginning there is a slight learning curve but once you figure it out it is so easy it's almost like second nature. I do recommend trying your menstrual cup out for the first time in a private restroom in your home so that you can try a couple things out and get comfortable with it and again it is really easy once you get the hang of it and I will tell you what to look for to make sure that your menstrual cup has opened properly, what to look for to make sure that there's no folds or no creases going on. The first step to making sure that your menstrual cup is open properly is to try and use the C fold. If you're having issues with the punch down method, which is where you punch down the side, and if you're having issues with the side popping open, try the C fold. To do this, you simply fold your menstrual cup in half like this, forming a C shape just like that. When you go to insert the C shape, it pops open very easily. If you're having trouble with insertion, it is a good idea to try our Pixie Lube. You simply put a couple pumps on your cup, you rub it in, and then it glides in a lot easier. The next step is once your cup is inserted, make sure you take a finger and move it around the rim of the cup, which is the top of the cup. So if your cup's inserted, you're going to want to insert your finger and you're going to want to feel all the way around the top. That way, if a side is punched down, you'll feel it and you'll be able to then grab the bottom of the cup and gently rotate it around. That is our third step, grabbing the bottom of the cup and rotating it 360 degrees to make sure that all those sides are popped open correctly. As far as steps go, that is it. For most people, these three simple easy steps make it so that they no longer have a leaking cup. If you still have a leaking cup, there are a few things that could come into play. The first thing is you could have the wrong cup size. If you notice your cup moving up and down during the day, a little movement is normal, but we're talking a lot of movement like sliding up and down, then it means that you have the wrong cup size or shape for your body. Our Pixie Cup comes in three different sizes and two different styles, so we do have the cup to fit your needs. And if you need help picking a cup, just reach out to one of us and we'd be happy to help. Number two is you might have a tilted cervix. If you have a tilted cervix and your cup isn't properly aligned, the menstrual flow might run along the vaginal wall instead of making it into your cup. If this is the case, just try simply wearing your cup lower in your vaginal canal so that it can be sure to catch the blood flow. Also, you can try using our Pixie Cup Lux, which was made specifically for people with a tilted cervix. Number three is your menstrual flow might be a bit heavier than your cup can handle. We did design the Pixie Cup in a bell shape so that it can capture the most blood flow as possible, but there is a possibility that your period might be heavier than what the cup can typically capture. If that's the case, you might just have to empty your cup a little more often throughout the day. I'm one of those people. The first two days of my period, I have to empty it two to three times a day and then only once a day after that. You could also try our extra large Pixie Cup. It's designed to hold even more blood, but no matter how heavy or light your period is, make sure that you're changing your Pixie Cup at least once every 12 hours. The last thing is you might just need a cup that is a bit more firm. If you're using a cup that's super soft, sometimes it might not pop open the way that you need to. Some women have had success with cups that are more firm. If this is the case, just try our original Pixie Cup as it is made a bit more firm than our Pixie Cup Lux. Remember that menstrual cups take a little bit of practice and just to keep practicing and to stay strong because again, once you get the hang of it, it will change your life. And if you make sure you're doing these tips, it should completely help you. Again, before long, your body's going to adjust to the cup, you're gonna have it down to a science and you won't have any leaking. If you have any other questions, please let us know and let us know if these tips worked for you. We would love to know what worked.